one of my neighbours is getting rid of a hutch. They raise small chickens in this uh, and then free range them in the yard, but then their dog actually killed the chickens. So they didn't have a need for this anymore. Um, and it's, it's protected from snakes, it's really well enforced. They had a property that backed onto some native bushland and there's a lot of snakes. This is Australia, so there's snakes everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is modify it and uh, I'll fix it up a little bit. There's a few repairs need to be done, modify it, and then I'll use it to do uh, some selective breeding with um, just a few quail so I can get a particular colour variant. Um, that's, that's what I plan to do. So it has this mesh on top, this green mesh. Uh, that's probably just to provide protection from the sun. Uh, I'm going to take that off because I'm going to put, it's not actually waterproof, there's no roof on this, so I'm going to put a roof on it. Uh, I want them to be able to be protected from the rain or keep the smell down. It has a front door, which is a bit average. Uh, there is a, a floor. Uh, I would possibly consider taking out the floor, but for now I'll, I'll keep it. Um, and yeah, I'll just keep it as is. Um, notice there is a hole there. So something's hit that. I'll just um, patch that up. Um, the other thing I need to repair, this is like a roost area. So I'll just need to rehinge that. Rehinge that up here. And I may consider, not sure, I might have to do something to the way to access from the top rather than the one end not sure on that yet but firstly I'm going to pressure wash it and then give it a bit of a lick of paint just to freshen it up and yeah we'll see how we go from there right, time to get rid of some mold I'm thinking is I'm going to need to add a door at this end because I can't reach the eggs from that end. I'd have to rake them out. It'd be nice to have a little door here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put a support there and then build a door. Holes cut and a support has been added now to build the actual door. This is the door I've created. I've done it picture frame because when I cut the mesh, a lot of sharp edges. So I'll paint that up and it'll go sit in here so we can access the eggs down this end. That will stop those sharp edges there. We should shut those up too. Cover those. All right. I'll just do a little latch and then we can paint it. Door's on, it's latched, so now I can access. Get some eggs in there. It's a little bit rough, but it'll do. I fixed up that hinged entry to the roost, to the touch area. Uh, I had to replace hinges and do some new screws. It's a bit dodgy, but as you can see, it's working. Just got some wire, and I'm going to fix this hole, just stitch it up, and I'll wind it through it and tie it off. And that's why I can never be a surgeon. Still, it's good enough. 
actual quail. <laughs> it's painting time. I've finished with one coat and as you can see I painted inside that really lightens it up which would be good for the birds I've done the floor too even though I'm going to put a rubber mat throughout it you can still get moisture underneath that mat and it probably will when it rains uh, the door's done this stuff here I couldn't actually um, paint that because it just takes up too much paint with that mesh it ends up like that it's just a mess so I'm gonna leave it, but I'm gonna that's covered anyway. I've done the front, some of it. Wherever there's no mesh, it'll protect some of it. That's the main thing. I don't really need it to be too pretty. And next thing will be to put on the roof. With the painting now done, I'm gonna just add a roof to keep it dry. Important to round off the edges so that you don't cut yourself walking past. Next I'm going to add a flooring. Uh, so this is something that will just make it easy for me to clean. I'll cut this to suit the floor. I don't want to just put bedding in the floor here and then try to clean it out, it'll be messy. If I have a flooring like this and put the bedding on top, I can just pull that out and then hose that off. It'll be a lot cleaner, a lot easier. And the flooring's in, and that will make my cleaning job a hell of a lot easier. I will just lift this up, pull it out, holding both sides, pull out all the bedding with it, and then hose it off, put it back in. Should be really, really easy. So this ridge on the actual hutch part of it uh, is a design flaw because it just lets rain go right through there. So I'm going to put a cap, I'm just going to screw a cap on there, and that should fix that problem. So what I'm going to do with this cap is I'm just going to screw off some of the rubber, the flooring, and have it heavier on one side. I'm only going to screw off one side so the weight should keep it down. Uh, that way, because this moves, so yeah, what can you do? Because <laughs> one's lifting. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll see how it goes. So I've, I've screwed that off. Now when I open it, it should just move with it. Keeps the crack that is at the top there with a the cap on it so no rain can go through it. If the wind blows and this flips over, I could just kind of have something to hold it temporarily there, but I think the weight of it should keep it down most of the time, so it should be okay. I used some spare rubber from the floor mat to just put a little cover along here in case some rain came in this way and would get down inside there on the other side of this sheet. Uh, so that'll just help run it out here, hopefully run it out, protect it, keep it a little bit dry inside. And this is now completely refurbed. It was something that was free just down the street picked it up not too much hard work just a little bit here and there and it's ready for birds another project completed mm -hmm.